morning. We are going to hike Gardner Peak. So that's our plan today. We're in Pine Valley Mountains, just north of St. George. So, we're gonna get the boots on, head out in the Pine Valley Wilderness, and we're gonna bag that peak up there. So, let's get to it. All right, so we're beginning on trail here at the Gardner Trailhead. High today in St. George, supposed to be 105, probably 107. Up here, the high is supposed to be 89. So, a little cooler. Nice change of pace for us. What do you think, Jen? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. So, expecting a fun little adventure. Now the trail runs all the way up to Jode's Flats. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And from there, we'll have a little route finding, I believe. Uh, could be wrong, but we'll see when we get up there. So, as of now, we're heading up. So we were hiking up in here last November and as we got higher up we hit snow <clears throat> and we noticed that uh, we had a cat on the trail in front of us fresh tracks I went down put my hand next to the paw print and the paw print was almost as big as my hand so at that point we knew there was pretty big cat up in the rocks up there hanging out so we've got a dog with us this time and uh, <clears throat> we are armed uh, you never really know so good to be prepared in case you have a run in <clears throat> doubt we will but there's always a possibility so keep our eyes open so we're on a gentle slope going up, but it is up from the get-go all the way to the flats. Once you get up a little further, you can see up here, we'll have to go right up the cliff there. So it's definitely a calf burner coming out. All right, we're making a little headway. You can see town of Pine Valley down there where we started. Still got a little ways to go though. <sighs> Some view here down the valley. morning but we already soaked in sweat it's warm humid monsoons have started so every afternoon the weather comes in I haven't got that much rain but it's enough to make everything a little more uncomfortable instead of just outright cooling it off and two days ago the high in St. George was 113 so it is hot. All right, up and up we go. So up behind these rocky cliffs right there, that's Joe's flat. And to the right, that's Garden of Peak. Right over there, so that's our objective. Uh, looking hot, hot, hot. Whew. That's our objective right there, that, that peak. So we gotta go behind these cliffs. The trail ends up top there. And then we got a route find to the top. And it's not even above tree line, so we'll be at the top in the trees. <laughs> All right, 
Moving on. So we're humping some decent weight. We're both carrying a gallon of water each, plus all the other stuff. First aid kits, some rope, extra clothing, some rain gear. So we've got, we've got some weight on us, which is good. But one thing about the Southwest here is water's never dependable. So you know, always packing your own water, water's heavy. So a third of our weight in our packs is water gallon of water eight pounds so it all adds up and you never pack light always pack heavy for the most part just consider it all training all the time <sighs> opening up here get some views around We're taking a minute to get some breeze. We're totally soaked in sweat, so I'm gonna cool off for a second. Get the core temp down. Okay. Yeah, once we get back in the trees, we won't have the wind anymore, so. <laughs> Looks like that. the dogs <laughs> taking a breather too. It's all downhill when you get to the top, right? Okay. All right, so we're trying these, what are these called? Arctic Cool or something? Arctic Cool. Arctic Cold, yeah. Arctic Cold scarfs. Apparently you get them wet and you snap them and you wrap it around your neck. And you know it'll cool this, so it's working. Yeah, it is. It is working. As it is cooking hot. So get that around your neck, and that'll cool our arteries there. Uh, some relief. Hopefully, stave off the headaches for a little bit. So you get headaches you're exerting in the heat like this, and trying to avoid that. So what do you think? Yeah, let's we'll see what happens. So far, so good with it. All right, so we're getting up there. As you can see, we're closer now. Uh, we're going to follow this around. And there's like a little tiny saddle right there. We actually go behind the cliffs there. And that'll get us up on top of Joe's flat. And we'll take a break there. Refresh and figure out our route to the top. Take a little breather. Get some breeze coming down. Get you a view of the valley now. We're looking at All right, we're approaching the small saddle here. And we're actually going to go behind this. Trail goes behind, then up. And here we begin to go behind. See the view back here. 
Oh, downhill here for a sec. That's nice. How you doing back there? Okay. Got some breeze back here. It's around the north facing part of this. A little cooler. Resting, hydrating, taking it easy. In the shade, we're just about up on Joe's Flats. Both have gotten headaches now, so it was a very hot walk up. Um, so we're just taking it easy, hydrating, and trying to cool off where the headaches get worse. So it's always a problem when hiking in the heat. Get exerted, get headaches, and then, uh, and well, other stuff follows. So we have to take it easy. And we got a swarm of ravens. I don't know what they're up to. Whatever it is, this is the meeting ground. Huh. Crazy. All right, we are moving on. Yeah, clouds building, so keep an eye on that. It's definitely the start of a thunderhead there. We're in monsoon season now, so. We did bring rain gear. It'd be funny if we get caught in a storm again, wouldn't it? We always seem to get caught in storms up here. All the weather just sucks up into the mountains here. So. Be nice and cool, just have to keep an eye out for the lightning. Everything's starting to build up, you know? Yeah. So, a couple more hours, I'm sure we'll see some dark skies, which is okay with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could use, I could go without the sun for a little while. Around here, we'll be up on the flats. Pretty cool rock formations. All right, here's the view as we come around. Pretty cool. Now we're on the 
back side of those cliffs we were facing as we were coming up, so I was pointing out. And they're right over there. Got some hair up here moving around, that's nice. Pretty cool rock formations. Just to get up. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty weird. And we're looking over at Gardner Peak right there. So we need to get up and we'll go up that. What do you think? It's pretty steep. It's pretty steep. Okay, so we're thinking we're gonna go up this and make a straight line up that, get the peak. Um, I'm not sure if there's a dedicated trail or following cairns or what, but it seems to be our route. We believe. Burned out Ponderosa. That's pretty cool. All right, we're heading back down the slope and then we'll have to climb back up again. So from this point, we've, we are over here, we've crossed now and looks like we're gonna be coming up on the south facing part of uh, Gardner Peak from the way the trail is going. And it's not much of a trail, it's pretty wobbly. We're basically cutting through the woods and coming back up. And, uh, but it's marked pretty good with cairns. So, um, there's a few spots where some route finding would help you, but so far it's pretty easy to find. You could always just bush hog it straight up the spine and go up. But uh, we're liking to take the trail, path of least resistance and all that. But we're definitely getting up and up as we're now over this and that. So we're getting up there, not too much farther. And the thunderheads are really starting to build. So uh, we'll get some cover from the sun, possibly some rain. We'll keep an eye on that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, there's rain over there. I'm not gonna run from rain. <laughs> okay, there's definitely, uh, the trail has gone out and we're pretty much following game trail and marking our way as we go up. So there's some route finding here. Uh, gets a little elusive. The peak's right over here. So I should probably have a look this way. The trail definitely does go out. And we're getting into the woods, it's thick, lots of deadfall. Um, we'll make our way up. We could just charge on up and come back down, but we're just having a look right now and see what we find here. Okay, this one, we're just making our way and we're marking our own path now. And we're basically going up and up. And there doesn't seem to be a trail. And we're hearing thunder. And the peak is right here. So I think we're gonna make a run for it, see if we can go on top there. All right, so there's definitely a trail. 
We're just kind of bush hogging, marking, trying to stay out of the denser parts of the forest. Our peaks right here. And if we can get it, we do have thunder overhead. So we're being extremely wary of lightning. But what do you think? Keep going. Keep going. So we're slowly making our way up and to orientate ourselves, we've got this big fan of rock right there, and we know. We need to stay on this side of it to head back. So we're just kind of slowly inching our way up this thing and uh, keep an eye on that. It's thundering. So we're getting there. One step after the other, right? So we're literally breadcrumbing our way. Rock there, there, there as we go up into this. And essentially we're just Taking the path of least resistance, following game trails. We're getting to the top. All right, we're really starting to get a view and we're marking our way up because we intend to come down the way we came up and we're coming up the western face of Gardner Peak here instead of around south like I originally thought. Uh, and we don't have that much farther to go. I guess we just have to get on top of this rock quarry, rock quarry or rock formation. Oh. I think we're looking at our final to get up top we're gonna to cut through this but look at this, this view here pretty cool we're almost on top you see a long way away we're gonna move up this I think we can go up to the left there right and hug it and uh, crawl up. All right, we'll try that. Can we cross over? getting the view and the tops just there and we're just kind of crawling up this we are we're there and that's the flats over there Whew. it's deep and that's a deadfall, climb over, but managing. All right, we are in the rain now. It is raining on top of us. We got thunder. But we believe we are to the top, almost. <laughs> huh? You got a Karen? Okay. We're at this point. And we believe this is our our peak, our end. <laughs> so we got a little bit. We just gotta go up this, and we're there. <laughs> we think. 
Unless there's something higher behind it. <laughs> there's not. All right. We're at the final part of the ascent on the western side of Gardner Peak. And we've been marking because this you know, trail course is just straight through the deadfall like this on the rocks. So we've been marking oh, probably every 15 yards or so. So we continually have a line of sight of cairns to get back down and around this. Not that we probably couldn't figure out how to get back to where we came from, since we just be up and we could come make a direct line, but it's just uh, better for the psyche, I guess. But the rain stopped and, I mean, we are literally <laughs> around the corner, right? <laughs> oh. All right, let's bag this thing. Whew. All right. Oh. Oh. Whew. Wow. We're up there. <laughs> Is this it right here? I think we we are almost to our spot. Wow, look at these views. Oh. Badass. This is it. Woo! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. We're there. Uh. All right. Uh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we think we need to go up right here. Got a little bit higher. So we're almost there. How many times have I said almost there today? All right, let's, let's get this done. All right. Oh. We made it. We have bagged Gardner Peak. Yes. Oh, that was a hoot. Oh. Now, we're gonna sit down and have something to eat. We got a cache in here. Let's open it up and see what she says. It's starting to rain on us again. I got a roll of toilet oh, paper. Oh. Oh, no. What does it say? Gardner Peak, registered place on summit of Gardner Peak. 1993. 710, 1993. 9,500 feet. 9,500 feet. <laughs> 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 Booyah. That's awesome. 1993. Wow. Okay, 10 4, 16, Summit, 1993, how about that? Uh, this is June 2017. 24 years, this little notebook sat up here. <laughs> how about that? That's cool. <laughs> uh, we gotta put our names in there. 
All right, we're up in the rain and thundering at the summit here. We just had something to eat. So now we're gonna get down. I'm not really gonna record going down because I recorded it all the way coming up. So I'll, I'll get it when we get further down, but it took us five hours to get to the summit. Uh, so we're, we're anticipating three hours to get down if we don't get lost. We've marked it pretty well. So we got one patch where where we'll be without trail and marks. I think that is yeah. down there at the bottom, but uh, it shouldn't be too big a deal. So. <clears throat> we're as refreshed as we can be. Nice and cool up here. And it's time to head back to the heat. <laughs> and we're low on water, so we, we definitely could have brought more water. It was It was a hot walk up. So I think we've got enough to be okay, but we've only got what about a liter a piece left. Yeah, maybe. Like that. So, live and learn. That's our plan. Let's get out of here. All right, we took a different route to get down a little bit. We're actually bush hogging, but we came, started coming right around the peak, and we ran into our markers. So now. Exactly where you are, and we actually think we saved time by going the way we did by bush hogging that way, so that's good. You can see our marks aren't too far apart, this will take us all the way down to the bottom. For the most part, so we can move. Yeah, we really marked this well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah that's good. All well, for future users, there you go. We're on top of our markers, it's definitely storming out there. More markers here. Taking a break and getting all the crap out of our boots. Pretty, pretty well diced up. Oh yeah. Whew, it's humid. Storms are rolling in, it's hot. And we're getting low on water. <laughs> Shit. Whew, oh, there's a breeze. All right. Hunker down for a minute. Uh, we're getting hailed on. So, storm's definitely on us. Uh, we're taking cover in some trees right now. Feel the hail and lightning and thunder pass. It's, it's sizable hail. Look at that. <laughs> if it gets any bigger, uh, yeah, it'd suck to get it on the noggin. So, we're hanging tight. All right. Quite a lot of rain come down on us. And we are up at the top of that. Gardner Peak. And the weather's moving. Finally got out of the rain a little bit. The hail. So we were able to start moving again. But uh, as you can tell from our hike up, we're back on the flats. It's a lot of water came down. And it's cooled off significantly, which is awesome. Breezy, quite refreshing, but we still got a lot of thunder, so we're kind of moving fast through these exposed areas um, for the obvious reasons of lightning, which we haven't seen any lightning. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. But lots of thunder. And 
The rain has come back. Good amount of hail came down. Some of it was quite sizable. Still pretty dark over there. Making our way, trying to stay away from this storm here. <laughs> approaching a small saddle where I mentioned in the beginning how we were going to come on the north side of the cliffs here so and little saddles right here we'll go back to the front and hit the south side and then we probably only got about a half hour uh, down downhill before we're back to the truck so we're moving rain stop got some Sun hot and humid again Been an interesting day. All right, we made it back to the truck. Way up there. And it took us, what, two and a half hours? To come down. To get down. We had about a half hour hunkered down uh, during the storm, during the worst of it. Uh, other than that, straight shot down. It's good, easy, quite the adventure today. Looks like the rain's not done yet. That's it. Thanks for watching. D Rock out. See you next time.